Insurance.com, Pro Tools 9 and 10, free class tutorials, beginning, intermediate, in advance, create a click track. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Whitney Russell with DSHorns.com. Uh, this video is going to be to create a click track. Go ahead and open up the Pro Tools. I'm going to show you real quick how you um, do that. Now, you want to create a click track every time you um, you have a start a new session because what it does is it basically gives you a tempo to follow when you record and it also it allow you to quantize and allow you to line things up when you start dealing with MIDI so you always want to do your click track that's the first thing you want to do is your click track okay so you go right here uh, oh see it's going to be uh, track under track go create click track all right, and this will show up. This is my new session I got right here. So this is your click track. Now, let's go to the edit window. So let me show you. All right, see right here, this is your tempo. All right, if your tempo doesn't come up, just click your bars and beats right here. Um, and this will show up. So this is the tempo of your click track. And uh, you can hear the click track to get your transport window. If you don't have a transport window up, like you don't, like it is not one up right now, um, go up here to Windows, hit the transport window, and you're going to make sure your tempo is correct. Correct. All right, that's how you can change your tempo right there. Uh, click that, and it'll change the tempo. And then let's go back to the mix window. Uh, you hit record and play. Oh, you need a you have to have a track. I'm sorry. So let's go ahead and get a new track. All right, now. So you record this. You, you have to record enable to hear the click track. Uh, and you should. And there you go. You don't hear right now, but I'm just showing you. I don't have my sound hooked up, but that's your click track. As long as you see that, hit your record label, hit your play button, you see that thing clicking, that's your click track. Now also there's ways, when you have your click track, there's ways to um, change the uh, sound of the click track. I'll show you how to do that in an uh, uh, intermediate tutorial and why, we, why you would want to do that. But let me show you uh, another thing about your click track. Cl double click that button right there uh, on the transport window, and this comes up. All right, so this says click and count off options. So this is basically telling you how do you want the click track to function. Do you want to just do you want to just hear it during play and record? Um, do you only want to hear it during recording or only on, on the count off? So it gives you two bars, a count off right here. It tells you two bars. So if you want two bars, one bars. Sometimes I like doing one bars, which is just four, one beat, four beats. Click, clock, click, clock, and you start recording. Um, uh, basically, the note, velocity, and duration. Don't worry about that. I'll talk to you about that in my intermediate uh, click because there's a lot of things, other things I want to tell you about the click track. But right now, for the beginning, uh, that's all you need to know to get your click track. Uh, if you have any questions or if you want to view my other uh, tutorials, beginning, intermediate, or advanced, please go to dshorns.com. If you need a horn section on your track, horn solos, piano chords, piano solos, or help mastering your track, contact me at facebook.com backslash ds.horns or at dshorns at yahoo.com. And please, Make sure to send me a friend request on Facebook for Pro Tools updates and free plugins.